Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build my mob indicator version 2. Now if you remembered in the first version, it uses redstone lamps to tell you whether it's safe or not to go outside. Well now it's actually using a beacon, so this could be useful um, if you're actually in your home or you're at a distance from your home. You can simply see the beacon light here and it will tell you whether mobs are spawning or not. Now right now the beacon is green and this indicates that no mobs can spawn right now but if we go ahead and we set the time to say so time set 12300 12300 you can now see that a warning light has come up it's saying yellow so it's best to get inside doors but if it gets to 12500 here as you can see it's gone to red and this means that mobs can now start spawning. Now I'm going to show you guys how you can build this now. So the materials that you are going to need is 24 redstone dust, 2 redstone torches, 4 redstone repeaters, 3 sticky pistons, 1 daylight sensor, 1 beacon, 2 obsidian, 9 blocks of iron, 1 green stained glass, one yellow stained glass, one red stained glass, and 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is dig a 3x3 three three hole in the ground. So go 1, 2, 3, and then dig this back two more times. Fill that hole in with your 9 iron blocks. And then in the center, place your beacon. Now getting those dirt blocks, we're simply going to place them to the left, to the right, and at the back of this 3x3 grid of iron blocks. We're going to place our sticky pistons on top of these blocks facing in towards the beacon. Then destroy the blocks underneath. Behind the beacon here, so this is the front, behind it, facing towards the right, we're going to place a repeater going in that direction. We're then going to place a repeater under this piston here, going in the other direction. Then place two redstone at the ends of each of the repeaters here. We're then going to place a piece of redstone dust to the left and the right of the beacon, and then one going outwards. Now set these repeaters here to a full tick delay, so right to the end, and then go ahead and quickly place a redstone torch down next to the redstone and then break it so it goes on a clock. Behind the left and the right pistons here, what we're going to do is get our blocks of choice out, place a block behind it, then we're going to place another one but go down one layer, and then place a block on top of the redstone next to this block here, so one there, and the same with the other side, this one's next to that block, so we're going to place one on top of that. Now place redstone on top of these end blocks here, so two like so. Then we're going to place two behind of each of these blocks and then go towards the centre one. So two behind and then towards the centre. Now lead these two wires here into a block with a redstone torch on top. We're then going to place a block on top of that redstone torch and then a block in front of it with a piece of redstone dust on this block here. Come back down to the bottom and going into these corners at the ends here behind them, we're going to lead a redstone repeater into it. On this left one here, we're going to place a block in front of it and then go three to the right. And then at the end here, place a redstone torch. On top of these blocks, we're going to place redstone all along. Then come back to this side and not this redstone, the one to the left. We're going to place two going backwards and then one to the left and then at the end of this redstone place your daylight sensor. Now come back to the front here and what we're going to do is on this left and this right piston behind them we're going to place a block of red of a block of obsidian or well, obsidian not block of obsidian and then finally we want to place our glass or our stained glass so let's get them all out. So this right piston here has the green on it this middle one has the yellow and this left one has the red so place them in front of the heads of the piston. And construction is complete! 
So now what you would do is something like this, create some sort of window here. And there you go, you have your indicator. Now you guys know what point in the tutorial this is. This is where I'm going to explain how this actually works and it's very simple. I say that for all my tutorials because they are. But anyway, let's go around here, let's go to the back and let's see where all the magic happens. So it starts here with this daylight sensor. This is detecting how much light is actually coming or how much light is available um, above it. So when it's full sun, uh, we know mobs aren't going to spawn, so it's going to show the color green. But as we get closer to sun time, or uh, sunset, so let's do time set 1200, I think. Okay, it's not that. I think it's 500. Oh, not that far. To 12,300, the light will go yellow, so this is indicating that mobs are going to spawn really soon and then when it gets to about uh, 12,500 it means mobs can start spawning now. So let's take a look at the redstone here and what is actually happening. So if we go back to 12,000 here, there's enough light here which the daylight detector is sending out to cover all this redstone here. So what's happening is it's unpowering this redstone here which, oops which doesn't power any of this redstone and make sure that this red uh, block here is retracted. On this side here what's happening is it's going up to this block here from this signal from the daylight detector. It's powering this repeater. This redstone here is powering this block which turns off that torch and makes sure that this piston here is retracted and not extended so the yellow doesn't come on. But as you can see, this redstone wiring here is coming up, powering this piston here, and we know that mobs can't spawn, so we're going to make sure it displays the green block. So that's what's happening right now. Let's push this piston out, put the green block in front of the beacon, and now uh, it's indicating that it's safe, uh, that mobs won't spawn. Now let's go on to the next stage, which is the yellow one. And as you can see, this is no longer reaching the end but it's still reaching this one on the side here which is unpowering this torch. Now what we have here is basically an AND so basically both of these wires on the left and the right have to be unpowered for this middle one to come on and as you can see they are so this torch can come on which powers this piston here and extends the yellow one in front and that gives off the yellow signal now when it's night time, so let's go to 13, or let's go 12,500, there's not enough signal from the daylight detector here to reach this end of the block, or either this one, so it now allows this redstone torch here to come on, and this here powers that redstone repeater, powers this block, turning off this redstone torch, that retracts the yellow block, and then we got redstone going this way, which that powers this piston here and pushes the red block in front. Now if you're wondering what this redstone underneath here is, this is simply just sending out a block update to these sti these sticky pistons because if we didn't do that, um, if this red block here was to retract, um, this green one here wouldn't actually get pushed forward. So we're going to make sure that they do get pushed in front of the beacon here when they're supposed to. And we can do that by sending out block updates through redstone. So hopefully that explains how it works. So guys, that's going to end off this redstone tutorial today. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know down in the comments below. And subscribe if you want to keep up to date with my latest tutorials. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!